the Ilocanos, Ilocano, Tato na Iloco, Ilocano, Ilocanos, or Iloco people are the third largest Filipino ethnolinguistic group that mostly reside within the Ilocos region in the northwestern seaboard of Luzon, Philippines. Etymology The word Ilocano originates from Iloco, archaic form, Iloco, the conjugation of I, meaning of, and look, meaning bay, which means from the bay in Ilocano. Aside from being referred to as Ilocano, they are also identified as Samtoy, a portmanteau of the Ilocano phrase Sao Mi Ditoy, meaning our language here, Sao Mi, our language, Ditoy, here. Ethnic homeland Ilocandia is the term given to the traditional homeland of the Ilocano people. From the original western strip of northern Luzon, Ilocandia has spread throughout the Cordillera Administrative Region, Cagayan Valley and some parts of central Luzon. Demographics Ilocanos number about 9,136,000. A few Ilocanos living in the Cordilleras have some Cordillerano blood. Language Most Ilocanos speak Ilocano, which is part of the Northern Philippine subgroup of the Austronesian family of languages. They also speak Tagalog, and English as second languages. Religion most Ilocanos are Roman Catholics, while a significant number belong to the Aglipayan Church, which originated in Ilocos Norte. Pre-Hispanic beliefs and traditions Prior to the arrival of the Spanish, Ilocanos were animists who believed in spirits called Anito who were either bad or good, male or female. These Anito ruled over all aspects of the universe. For example, Litao were Anitos of water, Kaibon, also called Kanibon were Anitos of the undergrowth in a forest, and Mangmangkik were Anitos of trees. The Mangamangkik were often feared for causing sickness when a fellow tree was cut down. To appease the Mangmangkik before cutting down a tree, the following chant was made. This chant calls on the Mangmangkik and beseeches them not to curse the people cutting the tree down. Similar chants and phrases are uttered to appease the kaibon when hot cooking water is thrown out into the yard for disposal. The kaibon can be befriended, giving luck and blessing to the person. Likewise, if a kaibon is angered, illness and in some cases death would plague the person's health and family. Other ways Anitos were respected and appeased were through offerings and sacrifices to idols on platforms called a simbon or designated caves where the Anito frequents. These offerings, called atang, consisted of various foodstuffs and sweets, as well as cigars and pawn. Atang is also offered to the deceased during prayers for the dead or on All Souls Day. Another practice which survived well into the 19th century was Sibrong. Associated with human sacrifice and headhunting, Sibrong was a prevalent practice in the Ilocos region. The person who carried out the executions was called the Manabrong. This term now means thief in modern Ilocano. Before the death of a community leader or a member of the Principalia, the dying person would lift his hand raised with a certain number of fingers. The number of fingers raised would be the indicator of how many people would have to be killed in order to accompany the dying to the afterlife. In other cases, the people chosen by the Manabrong would have their fingers cut off instead of being executed. Sibrong can also refer to the practice of placing a human head in the foundations of the building to protect the structure from damage. Mythological heroes In Ilocano mythology, Angelo was a mythical creation giant who was also the first man. Through his actions, he shaped the Cordillera Central, Luzon mountain range, formed the oceans and its saltiness, and put up the sky, moon, sun and stars. The Benoang Gap, in Santa, Ilocos Sur was said to be created by Angelo when he kicked the mountain range while sleeping. Diaspora Many Filipino Americans are of Ilocano descent. They make up 85% of the Filipino population in Hawaii. History Classical period 
From 300 to 200 BC a migration of Austronesian-speaking people from the island of Borneo arrived on the shores of northwest Luzon. They were the most recent of the three waves of migration to the Philippines known as the Malay. Before the arrival of these people, the inhabitants of northwest Luzon were a different Austronesian speaking people called the Proto Malay group, whom consist of the modern Tinguin, Isneg, Kalinga, Kankanai, Bontok, and other tribes collectively known today as the Igorot. Prior to the arrival of the Igorot were the people known today as the Aeta or Negritos. Over time, the Malay people intermarried with the Proto-Malay and or Aeta people, and it is their descendants who lived along the coasts of northwestern Luzon that the Spanish first came in contact with and called Ilocanos. Social structure While Spain applied the term barangay to the settlements in the Ilocos region upon contact, the Ilocano people called their towns, Ili, and a smaller group of houses, Parak. These residents of the Ili were organized in a class society. At the top of the class system was a chief or agtare or ari and his family. The ari earned his position due to strength, wealth and or wisdom. This position could also be inherited and usually reserved for a male, however, in the event that no male heir was available a strong female heir was accepted. If the heir was found to be weak by the ili then another ari family would be put in place and the former ari family could fall down in class. Together with a community of elders called Aman or Pangalakayan Ili, the Ari administered justice and governed the daily lives of the Ili and led his people to war if necessary. Below the Ari were the wealthy Babanang, or Timawa in Tagalog, of who could easily move into the position of Ari. Their wealth was maintained by their control of trade with primarily the Chinese, Japanese, Igorots, and the Tagalogs. Goods often traded were rice, cotton, gold, wax, iron, glass beads, honey, and stoneware jars called bernay. Below the Babanang were the Kalians, a class that helped the Ari in sailing, working his fields, and preparing for celebrations. In exchange, the Kalians were given gifts directly from the Ari. The Catalonian were below the Babanang and the Kalians and they were tenant farmers who consisted of the majority of the population in an ili. They largely practiced wet rice agriculture which included rice and taro as well as dry agriculture that included cotton. At the bottom of the pre-colonial Ilocano society were the Yubing and below them the Tagabu, also called Adapen. The Yubing were servants while the Tagabu were slaves. The Tagabu acquired their status through unresolved debt, insulting a member of the Babanang or Ari, by being prisoners of war, or even inheriting the debt of their ancestor. Appearances Both Ilocano men and women grew their hair long, but tied it up in different ways. Some women twisted their hair to create a bun, while some men twisted their hair and hid it under a turban like wrapping called a bangle or patong. The patterns and colors of the bangle had many meanings. For example, red patong indicated that the wearer had killed, while a striped pattern indicated that the wearer killed at least seven people. In addition to the bangle, farmers and fishermen also wore a gourd hat called a katakong on sunny or rainy days. The katakong was made from a hollowed and dried calabash gourd or tabinga in Ilocano with a woven interior made of anaha, nipa, bamboo, and or rattan. Also often worn during rainy days was a cape called a ananga which was often made of nipa palm leaves. Spanish era to the Philippine Republic Juan de Salcedo The Spanish conquistador Juan de Salcedo explored the northern regions of the Philippines in 1571, where he traveled to the Ilocos region, among other places, pacifying the north, and establishing several Spanish municipalities, including Villa Fernandina known as Vigan City in the present time and Tagudan. War with Zambales and Pangasinan in 1660, Andres Malong, a chief of San Carlos, Pangasinan or Binalatongan as it was called then, allied with the people of Zambales in an effort to throw out the Spanish and plunder those who opposed them. Malong was once employed by the Spanish to help pacify and conquer non-Christian towns and villages in Pangasinan, however, as Malong conquered others, he realized he could also overcome the outnumbered Spanish. With his Zambales allies, Malong crowned himself the king of Pangasinan and sent out letters to all the chiefs of the Ilocos region, Pampanga and Cagayan Valley and demanded that they too align and recognize Malong as their king and kill any Spaniards among them. 
If they did not, Malong warned that he would invade and punish them for not joining his cause. Unlike Pangasinan and the Zambales, the Ilocos at the time was a region that the Spanish invested its soldiers and missionaries in and routinely secured. Towns such as Vigan, Ilocos Sur and Tagudan, Ilocos Sur were quickly conquered with Spanish encomiendas, fortifications and Catholic churches quickly established to subdue the Ilocano people into the Spanish Empire. The Spanish were swift in this process to stake their claim on the region's gold trade with the Igorots. They sought to protect this trade from Chinese and Japanese pirates and different European powers such as the Dutch or English. Considering this relatively recent history with the Spanish and primarily under the influence of Catholic missionaries, many of the Ilocano chiefs rejected Andres Malong's offer. In response to their rejection, Malong sent a Zambales chief named Don Pedro Gumapos, who had recently conquered the Pampanga region with 6,000 men, to invade the Ilocos as well as Cagayan regions. Gumapos and his men were met with only 1,500 loyalist Ilocanos under the command of the Spanish alcalde mayor of the region and even missionaries. As such, the Zambales and Pangasinese army quickly defeated them and marched as far north as Vigan, Ilocos Sur where they pillaged and burned the Spanish stronghold and nearby villages. With many of the Spanish missionaries and authorities in the Ilocos evacuated and in retreat, Malong then asked Gumapos to assist him in Pangasinan, where the Spanish were beginning to advance on him. As Gumapos and his troops traveled back down through Narvacan, Ilocos Sur, they continued to raid Ilocano towns and villages for supplies and spoils. Ultimately, the people of Narvacan responded in guerrilla tactics aided by their Tinguan allies. This retaliation by the Ilocano people was devastating and caused more fatalities on Gumapo's army than with the Ilocano forces led by the Spanish. As the invading army headed south they sacked and burned the coastal towns of Santa Maria, Ilocos Sur, San Esteban, Ilocos Sur, Santiago, Ilocos Sur and Candon, Ilocos Sur. When they finally approached Santa Cruz, Ilocos Sur, Gumapos encountered a Spanish-led army who had just finished reconquering Pangasinan and captured Andres Malong. Despite learning of Malong's defeat, Gumapos led his army to battle. Gumapos and his army were defeated after two large battles. After being captured, Gumapos was sent back to Vigan, Ilocos Sur where he was executed by hanging. The Ilocos region would not see another revolt against the Spanish until 1762. Salang Revolt Present The mounting population pressure due to the substantial population density during the mid-19th century caused the migration of the Ilocanos out of their historic homeland. By 1903, more than 290,000 Ilocanos migrated to central Luzon, Cagayan Valley, and Metro Manila. More than 180,000 moved to Pangasinan, Tarlac, and Nueva Ecija. Almost 50,000 moved to Cagayan Valley, half of them resided in Isabela. Around 47,000 lived in Zambales and the Sultan Kudarat more than 11,000. The Ilocano diaspora continued in 1906 when Ilocanos started to migrate to Hawaii and California. Ilocanos composed the largest number of expatriates in the United States, though most are bilingual with Tagalog. There is a significant Ilocano community in Hawaii, in which they make up more than 85% of the Filipino population there. Later migrations brought Ilocanos to the Cordilleras, Mindoro, Palawan, and Mindanao provinces of Sultan Kudarat, North Cotabato, and South Cotabato. Food Ilocanos boast of a somewhat healthy diet heavy in boiled or steamed vegetables and freshwater fish, but are particularly fond of dishes flavored with one baguong, fermented fish that is often used instead of salt. Ilocanos often season boiled vegetables with baguong monomen, fermented anchovy paste, to produce pinakbet. Local specialties include the abuas, soft white larva of ants, and jumping salad, or tiny, live shrimp with calamansi juice. Another food that is popular for many Ilocanos is the moringa or malungue. It is a good condiment for meat soup, e.g. tanola, or it can be mixed with the famous denengdang, a soup made of mainly vegetables with prawns. Alamang. Most households grow this tree in their backyards and usually offered free for all the neighbors who may want them. Many Ilocanos from Hawaii are fond of eating them. 
The Ilocano people are also known to be the first ethnic group in the Philippines to eat the larvae and eggs of abuas weaver ants. The practice has since been infused as well with other ethnic groups in northern Luzon. Literature One of the most well-known Ilocano literary works written in Iloco is the Biag ni Lam Ang, The Life of Lam Ang, an epic poem about the fantastic life and escapades of an Ilocano hero named Lam Ang. Biag ni Lam Ang is a testament in the Ilocano literature. The Ilocano writer Elizabeth Medina is probably the most remarkable living Ilocano writer in the Spanish language. Notable Ilocanos Mary Lou Diaz Abaya, Filipina director, her father is from Paoay, Ilocos Norte Mac Alejandre, Filipino director Gregorio Aglipay, founder of the Aglipayan Church Pedro Almazan, leader from Luwag, proclaimed and crowned king of Ilocos, led the first Ilocos revolt in January 1661. Magnolia Antonino, born December 14, 1915, was a senator of the Philippines. She was married to Gaudencio Antonino, also a senator. Rodolfo. Pong. Gaspar Biazan, born April 14, 1935, is a politician in the Philippines. He is currently a senator. He was elected senator in the 1992 election for a term of three years. He was elected to his first six-year term in the 1998 election, and was re-elected in the 2004 election. Biazan was born in Batac City, Ilocos Norte. Gregorio C. Brillantes from Camaling, Tarlac, a multi-award winning fiction writer and magazine editor, is one of the Philippines' greatest writers in English. Jose Burgos, Filipino priest and martyr during Spanish times. Isabelo Abaya, born on 1854 in Candon Ilocos Sur, he was a member of the Espiritu de Candon, a revolutionary group. On March 25, 1998, he led the so called Iquis T. Candon, Cry of Candon, and drove away the Spaniards from the town. He then declared the Free Republic of Candon. Edmundo Abaya Archbishop Emeritus Edmundo M. Abaya, D.D. was born on January 19, 1929 in Candon, Ilocos Sur. During his active years in the ministry, Abaya had served as chairman of the CBC Peace Commission on Ecumenical and Interreligious Affairs from 1988 to 1989. The first appointee of the late Pope turned St. John Paul II as bishop in the Philippines passed away on September 20, 2018. Joseph Emilio Abaya D.O.T.C. Secretary His father, Kong. Plaridel Abaya hails from Candon Ilocos Sur. Descendant of Isabelo Abaya of Candon, Ilocos Sur, one of the greatest heroes of the revolution in the entire north. Ernesto Maceda also known as Manong Ernie was a Filipino politician, lawyer, and columnist who served as a senator of the Philippines from 1971 to 1972 and again from 1987 to 1998. He served as Senate President from 1996 to 1998. His mother, Amatarang came from Candon Ilocos Sur. Sonny Cabatu, born on October 10, 1960 in Cabago, Ilocos Sur, is a semi-retired Filipino professional basketball player in the Philippine Basketball Association and was the very first draft pick of the league in 1985. He is also the father of current Barangay Ginebra Kings player Junjun Cabatu. Antonio Carpio, Associate Justice, Ilocano Father Conchita Carpio Morales, current Ombudsman of the Philippines Nina Corpus, former Filipino journalist from Batac City, Ilocos Norte Inofer Corpus, from Camaling, Tarlac, writer and former Secretary of the Department of Education, 13th President of the University of the Philippines, President of the Development Bank of the Philippines Marcelino Crisologo, writer, playwright and first governor of Ilocos Sur Lilia Cuntape, Filipina horror actress Anne Curtis, Filipina actress, her mother is Ilocano from Pangasinan Isabel Daza, daughter of Gloria Diaz Gloria Diaz, Miss Universe 1969 from Erangay, La Union
C. E. S. Drilon, Filipina news anchor, her father is Ilocano. Juan Ponce Enrile, a senator. He served as Senate President from 2008 to 2013. He is currently the Senate Minority Leader. He is from Gonzaga, Cagayan. Yassi Pressman, Filipina actress, her mother is from Isabela. Josefa Yanis Escoda, women's rights activist, founder of the Girl Scouts of the Philippines. Darren Espanto, Filipino singer, his parents are Ilocano from Nueva Vizcaya. Erlinda Federa Basilio, Ambassador and Permanent Representative of the Philippines to the United Nations and other international organizations in Geneva, Switzerland, the first woman Vice President of the UN Human Rights Council, founding member of the English-Speaking Union ESU, Philippines Chapter. She is from Bacnoten, La Union. Leona Florentino, famous woman poet. Asterisk Colleen Garcia, Filipina actress, her mother is Ilocana from La Union. John Hilario, Filipino actor, host, dancer. Danny Ildefonso, a professional basketball player who played in San Miguel Beerman, now Patron Blaze Boosters who won eight PBA championships and two MVPs and Rookie of the Year award in 1998. He is fluent in Ilocano. He is from Urdaneta City, Pangasinan. Francisco Sionel Jose, prominent English language novelist. Bianca King, Filipina actress, her mother is Ilocana. Doug Kramer, Filipino basketball player, his mother is Ilocana from La Union. Carlo Lacana, Filipino actor. Jesse Mendiola, Filipina actress, her mother Didith Garvita hails from Bonguia Locos Norte. Japoy Lazardo, Filipino actor, athlete. General Antonio Luna, General of Emilio Aguinaldo's era. Juan Luna, famous Filipino painter, older brother of Antonio. Guji Lorenzana, Filipino actor, singer. Ramon Magsaysay, 7th President of the Philippines, from Iba, Zambales. J. B. Magsaysay, Pinoy Big Brother, Season 1, housemate and grandson of former President Ramon Magsaysay. Ferdinand Marcos, 10th President of the Philippines, 1965 to 1986. Known for memorizing the world's thickest constitution, the Philippine Constitution. Ferdinand Marcos Jr., also known as Bongbong Marcos, is the only son of former President Ferdinand Marcos. He served as Governor of Ilocos Norte from 1998 to 2007. He also served as a representative of Ilocos Norte's 2nd District. He is currently a Senator of the Philippines. Maria Imelda Josefa Romaldez Marcos, also known as Imi Marcos, daughter of former President Ferdinand Marcos, is a former representative of the 2nd District of Ilocos Norte in the Philippine House of Representatives 1998-2007. She is the Governor of Ilocos Norte since 2010. She belongs to the Kilisang Bagong Lipanon Political Party. Mariano Marcos, father of Ferdinand Marcos, was a lawyer and a politician. Martha Vanessa Antonio del Moral, better known by her screen name Vanis del Moral, born on May 23, 1988 in Baguio City, Benguet, Philippines, is a Filipina actress and a talent at one of the top management groups in the Philippines, the GMA Artist Center. Jimboy Martin, Filipino actor, he is originally from Nueva Vizcaya. Alma Moreno, born May 25, 1959 in Cervantes, Ilocos Sur, is a Filipina actress whose mother is Ilocano and father is from Pampanga. Bienvenido Nebras, the longest-serving university president of Ateneo de Manila University, member of the Board of Trustees of Georgetown University, Regis University, the Asian Institute of Management, where he sits as vice chair, and other colleges and universities in the Philippines. Jane Oneza, Filipina actress Camilo Osayas, March 23, 1889 Balaan, La Union, May 20, 1976 Manila was a Filipino politician, twice for a short time President of the Senate of the Philippines. Bella Padilla, Filipina actress, her mother is Ilocano from Nueva Ecija 
Daniel Padilla, Filipino actor, his paternal grandmother is Ilocana and the sister of Bella Padilla's maternal grandmother. Kylie Padilla, Filipina actress, her father, Robin Padilla is also an Ilocano from Nueva Ecija. Robin Padilla, Filipino actor, from Nueva Ecija. Jim Paredes, Filipino musician, his father is Ilocano from Abra. Quinton Paredes, September 9, 1884 to January 30, 1973, a Filipino lawyer, politician, and statesman. He was born in Bangud, Abra. Marcus Patterson, Filipino actor. Mark Pingras, Filipino basketball player. Elpidio Quirino, 6th President of the Philippines, 1948-1953, and native of Cauayan, Ilocos Sur. Nicanor Reyes Sr., founder and first president of the Far Eastern University in Manila. He envisioned a school that would promote the teaching of accounting to Filipinos, a profession formerly available only to foreigners. His hometown was Paniqui, Tarlac. Artemio Ricarte, October 20, 1866, July 31, 1945, was a Filipino general during the Philippine Revolution and the Philippine-American War. He is considered by the armed forces of the Philippines as the father of the Philippine Army. Ricarte is also notable for never having taken an oath of allegiance to the United States government, which occupied the Philippines from 1898 to 1946. Ricarte was born in Batac City, Ilocos Norte. Anastasia Goran Tupas born August 24, 1890 and a native of Luwag, Ilocos Norte is among the most revered nursing leaders of the Philippines. Founder of the Philippine Nurses Association. Alden Richards, Filipino actor, his paternal grandmother is Ilocana from Sinate, Ilocos Sur. Ruby Rodriguez from San Marcelino, Zambales is a Filipina actress and a co-host of the television variety show Eat Bulaga, in the Philippines. Carmen Rosales, actress Pangasinan Jericho Rosales, Filipino actor Paulino Santos, from Camaling, Tarlac, a former Chief of Staff of the Philippine Army during the time of Philippine President Manuel Luis Quezon, founder of Penal Colonies and a Philippine Constabulary Second Lieutenant. Gabriela Salang, wife of Diego, revolutionist. Luis. Chavit. Singson, born June 21, 1941, better known as Chavit Singson, a Filipino politician from Vigan City. He was a former governor of the province of Ilocos Sur, Philippines since 1998. He is the owner of the Partas Bus Company. Singson is said to have started EDSA too, when in October 2000 he alleged he gave President Joseph Estrada Ph.P. 400 million as payoff from illegal gambling profits. Liza Soberano Hope Elizabeth Soberano, formerly known by the screen name Hope Soberano, is a young Filipina-American model and actress, is a contract artist of ABS-CBN and Star Magic. She is currently starring in the Teleseria Forevermore and in the movie, The Bet, to be released in 2015. Her father and ancestors are Iloanos from Sta. Maria, Asingan, and Baguio City. Jessica Soho, born March 27, 1964, is Filipino broadcast journalist, documentarian and news director who received a George Foster Peabody Award and was the first Filipino to win the British Fleet Journalism Award in 1998. She is from San Juan, La Union. Fidel V. Ramos, 12th President of the Philippines, 1992-1998, from Lingayan, Pangasinan, asterisk Benito Solomon, studied law at the University of the Philippines, graduated summa cum laude, placed third in the 1921 bar examinations, the first lawyer of Santo Domingo, a loco sir, an intellectual, a linguist, a successful political leader, an outstanding congressman, a three-termer in the House of Representatives acclaimed as valedictorian. In Congress having the greatest number of bills most of which were passed, approved by his colleagues, a hero of World War II, and most of all a very saintly and charitable man, ready to help the needy and his clients free of charge to those who didn't have the money. He is the father of the late Maximo Villaflor Sullivan, a prominent Filipino journalist and newspaper publisher and realtor Victorio V. Sullivan. 
A school and a town are also named after him, the Benito Sullivan Academy, located in Santo Domingo, Ilocos Sur and Benito Sullivan in the province of Isabela. Carlos P. Garcia, 8th President of the Philippines, 1957-1961, his parents were natives from Bangud, Abra. Maximo Villaflor Sullivan, September 4, 1929 to November 24, 2006, was a prominent Filipino journalist and newspaper publisher. In a career that spanned six decades, he attained his greatest peak and in influence with the Philippine Star, which he co-founded in 1986, and where he served as publisher until his death. His daily column published in the Star, titled, By the Way, was one of the most widely read newspaper columns in the Philippines. Brian Termulo, Filipino singer, his mother is Ilocana from La Union. Fabian Beer, former general and chief of the armed forces of the Philippines. Glenifer Purido, beauty pageant title holder, from Tabac, Kalinga. Teofilo Yuldefonso. The Ilocano Shark, February 9, 1903 to July 19, 1943, was a Filipino swimmer who specialized in the breaststroke. He was the first Filipino to win an Olympic medal, and the only Filipino to win multiple medals. He was born in Pitig, Ilocos Norte. Nova Villa, Filipino actress. Vice Ganda also known as Jose Mari Visceral, a Filipino comedian, his mother is Ilocana from La Union. Foreign nationals of Ilocano ancestry Jasmine Trias, third place winner in American Idol Season 3. Jocelyn Enriquez, singer in the dance music genre who did the hit songs A Little Bit of Ecstasy and Do You Miss Me. Benny Agbayani, professional baseball player. Thelma Buckholt, J.D., elected member, Alaska State House of Representatives, 1974-1982. Carlos Belosan, writer from Binalonan, Pangasinan. David Benevich, athlete. Mikey Bustos, YouTube star and Canadian Idol finalist. Ben Cayetano, 5th Governor of Hawaii, 1994-2002. Philip Vera Cruz, labor union leader. Emil Guillermo, journalist and 2000 American Book Award winner. Gina Ortiz Jones, Filipina American Iraq War veteran, intelligence officer, and politician. Anna. The Hurricane. Julatan from Pazorubio, Pangasinan, is a boxer. She won the San Francisco Golden Gloves, the California State Championships, was a Diamond Belt champion, and closed out her amateur career by winning the silver medal in the United States Amateur Championships. As a professional boxer, Julation is close to the top in winning world titles with the fewest professional bouts. As of 2010, she is a world title holder of the International Boxing Association and the World Boxing Organization. Matthew Leibatik, an American cinematographer best known for his work with director Darren Aronofsky on such films as Iron Man 1 and 2, Inside Man, Miracle at St. Anna, Gothica, Cowboys and Aliens, Pi, Requiem for a Dream, The Fountain and Black Swan Rhoda Montemayor, Europe actress and model. Lieutenant Gen. Edward Soriano, 1st Filipino-American General of the U.S. Army, Ret. Maj. Gen. Antonio Taguba, 2nd Phil M. General of the U.S. Army. Brian Beloria, light flyweight boxing champion. Nikki Rabago, Emmy Award winning associate director and director for CBS News. See also Ethnic groups in the Philippines, Super regions of the Philippines. Gadding people, Ivanig people, Tagalog people, Kapampangan people, Ivatan people, Igorot people, Pangasinan people, Sambal people, Bicolano people, Negrito. 
Visayan people, Cebuano people, Boholano people, Hiligaynon people, Waray people, Lumad, Moro people. Notes and sources External links Tarabay iti Orthographia t Paxiseo na Ilocano, a free ebook version of the guide on the orthography of the Ilocano language developed by the Comasayan ng Wiking Filipino KWF, in consultation with various stakeholders in Ilocano language and culture. Developed back in 2012 as a resource material for the implementation of the Department of Education's K-12 curriculum with the integration of MTBMLE or Mother Tongue-based multilingual education. Ilocano Wikipedia Most popular Ilocano website World's most famous Ilocanos Ilocano, T. Pagsaseo T. Amian and NAKEM Centennial Conference Tavit News Magazine Ilocano News and Literature Portal Datapilan.com, a local literature portal featuring original Iloco works by Ilocano writers and a forum for Iloco literary study, criticism and online workshop. Ilocano.org, an online community for Ilocanos. Quirino Province, an online community for Quirinians. Ilocano Pride Your online portal for Hometown News of Northern Luzon Marungay article, an article entitled Moringa, an icon for most Filipinos Learn Filipino A webpage to learn how people are called in Ilocano